Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Guess what today is? Oh my, good yawn. You know what today is? Do you know what today is? Today's the day Memphis gets her stitches out. It has been two weeks since her surgery. So what does that make it? Uh, math, 17 days, 18 days since she got hurt? 17 days since she hurt her leg. Two weeks since her surgery. She's doing really, really good. And today she goes in to hopefully get her stitches out. We're pretty sure it'll be happening today because she looks really good. And then also, um, I was on a train once and forgot. Oh, she'll get x-rays again as well. So they're gonna x-ray and see how everything's doing. So that's gonna be happening later today. I'm so excited that this is finally happening. So this also means that there's the potential that we might be able to go back to sleeping in our own bed tonight. She still is not allowed to jump or anything like that, but we did get a dog ramp for the bed from, I think it's doggoramps.com. I'll put links down below and we'll show you guys that in a little bit. So hopefully that'll be happening. Now the downside of her getting her stitches out today is it's raining and cold, which means we're not doing pool therapy today, but it is supposed to get warm over the next couple of days again. So hopefully we'll get some pool therapy in. Look! We got a box from Doggo Rams. If you guys don't know who uh, Crusoe the Dachshund is, they actually started this company making dog ramps and they make them for like couches, they make them for beds, they make them for big dogs, they make them for small dogs. The big dogs one is kind of cool because there aren't many people that make them for big dogs. So we got a big dog ramp. Look at how cool this is. We're getting ready to uh, put it together right now. And hopefully this will make it so we can sleep in our own bed with Miss Memphis tonight. She won't have to jump on or off the bed. What do you think? And Memphis does really good with ramps. So hopefully she'll do pretty good with this. I'll have to show you guys her going up and down our ramp that we've been using for the steps and see how she how she does. Are we gonna come snuggle out here with the big blanket? <laughs> uh, all right, let's put this together. So the color that we got is the uh, the gray, the dark gray. And I also do want to say that they actually sent this to us, um, which was amazing and very nice of them to do so. They found out about Memphis and said, hey, we would like to send you this to help you out. It's really cool. Like, that's a big dog ramp. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. This is Pretty so much straight cool. out of the box. Look too. at that. So you could see here where, where Jamie kind of did this. So it's going to depend on how high your bed, you could also use this for a couch if you wanted to, but it'll depend on like how high your bed is off the ground. There's different heights that you can put it at, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Very well made. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a big ramp, but it's, it's actually beautiful. Ooh, now we got to put the barriers on it. So it has little barriers so your dog just doesn't jump off the edge. No jumping. No jumping. You're not allowed to jump, ma'am. You're not allowed. She's like, but it could. I don't know, you're gonna test it pretty soon here. I'm just gonna jump straight up here. Do you think so? Well, see, and that's kind of why I was thinking, if she does that, we can take that um, wire thing that we have, the wire playpen, and we can fold it and put it here. I could... So it'll force her to go up. Right. I mean, it's just two holes. I could, uh, I could put this railing down here. So instead of it being way up there, it would be down here. Right, because be... she's, I don't think she'll jump off here. There's not enough space for her to yeah. jump off there. But that yes, I'm, af her up that way. I'm afraid she's going to try to jump from here to here. Yep, yep. And she will too. <laughs> yeah. So we may have to modify this just slightly. Okay, so I got Memphis all by herself. Mm -hmm. Memphis does good with ramps. So are we going to go up the ramp, huh, Memphis? Memphis, you want to get up here? I'm going to make sure I'm on the right side of her. She's like, are we going back out there? Hey, right here. I got her. I got her. Mm -hmm. You yeah, did maybe, it! Maybe I will put that you railing back on. It. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. so she doesn't turn around. Yeah, we Wait. put this here to block her from jumping. She's like, you come lay down with me, Ma. Mm -hmm. I need this. Yay. What do you think? You happy to be back in your bed? She's like, I'll be so happy tonight to be back in my bed. Right? Yeah? All right, let's try this again. Come here. Come here. Come here. I, is that your bed? Is that your bed? Yeah, oh, you're just as excited as me to sleep in here again, aren't you? Oh, no. No. The problem is we can't have you jumping off the end. So I think we're going to move the dresser forward. So she'll be forced to go up and down this ramp. Oh, I know. 
Belly's up and everything. Look at you go. Okay, can we try to go down the ramp? Let's try, okay? Alright, we'll see. Okay, hold on. Oof, we're gonna trip over each other is what's gonna happen. Okay, up. Good job. Okay, sit. Sit. Good job. So we've had this ramp for a while, but we didn't want to set it up until she got her stitches out. She's getting her stitches out today, so. Come on. Good girl. Come on, all the way. All the way. I know. Now I gotta help you. There we go. Ready? Ready? Down the ramp. You're doing it! Oh, that's not <laughs> supposed to jump. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to jump. <sighs> Yeah, we might have to build a little bit more of a barrier so she don't jump. But on a good note, her jumping from here to here, this is a waterbed. Right, so, and like, it's not like she's jumping on the hard ground. Right, and the the way down too is a lot shorter. The too. way down is a lot shorter. Watch her go down. Yep, Ready? Yep. See, she likes Master. ramps. Master. She likes ramps. Okay, I think we might get to sleep on our own bed tonight. Oh, is she going in for some snuggles? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm coming for them snuggles, Dad. You lay down, I would like some snuggles. Okay. You're doing so good, Memphis. You really are. It's like, I'm, I'm amazing. And you're going to go get your stitches out today? Are you excited for that? And, I don't know, but the sun decided to come out after I said it was going to rain all day. So maybe you'll get to swim for a little bit today. Maybe. I know you would like to. And you possibly would as well. You Are you sleeping on your toy? It's like, I'm sleeping on my toy, guys. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. What, one hour? I'm taking you to get your stitches out. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of excited to possibly sleep in my own bed tonight. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might still be too nervous to do it, so we'll see. You made it to the vet, Memphis. Are you excited? It's been two weeks. You're going to get them stitches out. So I think they're going to take her in the back because she has to get an x-ray and they're going to do laser therapy and take her stitches out. So I don't know how much I'll be able to film while we're in there, but we're here at the vet. Want to go get this done? She's so like, we got this car mom ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. You look, you look so happy today. Hey guys, I'm happy all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm super happy because I'm at the vet and they're going to give me cookies. Free cookies! Yeah, I know you like free cookies. I know you're excited about going in, but I want to show one last time. Wait, before we go in, let me see. There's some stitches. I don't know how well you can see them because she's moving a whole bunch. Stitches in what looks like a sheep leg more than a chicken leg now. Let's get in there and get this stuff done. And look, the stitches are out, they're out. So she is doing pretty good putting weight on her leg. They said everything looks good. Dr. Ryan's gonna review her x-rays. So we can't get in the pool today. We can't do any of that until he reviews all of that. So maybe tomorrow, we'll see. What do you think? She's like, I'm doing good. Look at me sitting down, I'm doing amazing. So stitches are out. We are 14 days post-op as of the day I'm filming this. And they said she's doing absolutely amazing. Moving forward, right? She's like, yeah, maybe we sleep in our own bed tonight. So what do you think, Miss Memphis? Look, no more stitches. They actually said it looks really, really good. They did say because her fur had grown over it quite a bit that she might be a little itchy for the next day or two. But so far, we've been home for a little while now. And so far, she hasn't bothered it at all. They said everything is looking good. Dr. Ryan wasn't there, so he's gonna review everything tomorrow. Oh, you want your late, you want your massage? Is it time for a massage? She's like, oh, I would take, I would take the massage. I would take it. She looks like a sheep <laughs> where her fur is growing in in all different, and she looks, you look like a sheep. It was a chicken leg, now you're a sheep leg. You're like a lamb leg. Is that what it is now? <laughs> uh, she just ate dinner just a little bit ago and she took her medication which I have to ask them tomorrow whether or not we have to keep giving that to her or if we can try to wean her off of she's only on one painkiller but I want to see if maybe we can stop giving it to her and see how she does we wanted to wait until she at least got her stitches out as of today when I'm filming this I think I said this earlier we are two weeks post up. And you're doing so good. She's like, I'm pretty sleepy now because I ate and I had my medicine. Yeah, that's okay. What are you doing over here, ma'am? 
You're just taking up the whole bed? She's like, I'm gonna take up the whole bed. And then we got Miss Eleanor over here. Are you warm? Hi! Hello! Where did them ears go? Hello! She's like, guys, it's humid outside today. It is humid, I know. And it rained. And it did end up, oh, hi. Well, hello. It did end up uh, raining again. So we're hoping to be able to get Memphis in the pool in the next couple of days. But we gotta talk to the vet first and make sure that that's okay. Oh, you just want all the, all the belly scratches, huh? All of them? All the belly scratches? You're goofy. Also, I think I showed this to you guys. It's lit up right now. When I got it, uh, Kira managed to chew on the top of it. So, even though it's cool, it's, you know, got Kira marks on it at the top here. But I don't know if I've showed you guys these. I've had these for a while. I just took them down from my top shelf because I'm ordering cases for all of them. And I have one that's not here yet. It hasn't been shipped yet. But here's Miss Kira. I can't remember if I showed you this one or not, but that's Kira. That's who Kira is actually named after. It's Kira the Gelfling. These are all from the Dark Crystal. Well, this one's from the original Dark Crystal, and then these ones are from the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. And these two actually are two little separate ones here that I haven't pushed together so I could measure. I'm going to get some cases for them to put them in cases. But I didn't know if you guys had seen these yet, so I thought I would show them to you. They're from Weta Workshop is where I actually got them. And they're, they're really cool. There's some other ones on there that I am not getting because they're just ridiculously expensive, but... I decided to get these ones. I'm missing Jen. I think he shipped this week though, so we'll see. I actually ordered Jen and Kira, oh gosh, last year. She came first, and then these ones I ordered quite a, quite a while ago too. They take a while to get here, but I thought I would share those with you guys. For those of you that don't know, The Dark Crystal is my absolute most favorite movie of all time. And that's the essence. The essence! I just can't believe Kira chewed at it. It's got a little button on the bottom, you can turn the light. On and off. And that's what it looks like with the light off. And then I have all my other dark crystal stuff up here. Got a few other things I gotta set up there. I think I'm gonna take those cases and put them up here and maybe move some of this stuff down here and maybe move my dragons somewhere else. Those are my McFarlane dragons. I don't have all of those but I've had these for a really long time so might uh might switch them out, put them somewhere else. What do you think, Miss Memphis? You want to try sleeping in your own bed instead of sleeping on this one? I already moved my pillow. I think we can, uh, we can try. You ready to try? She's like, I don't know, I was already sleeping. <laughs> All right. You get to go in. She's like, oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. You're supposed to use the ramp, silly. That's not quite how you do it. How about you? Go ahead. Nobody's gonna do it? Nobody's gonna get up there. You were all so excited. She was like, I'll do it. Memphis says, she did it! She did it! Put this basket here so she wouldn't jump. Here, I'll move it now though. If you want this corner, since technically that's your corner. Are you still confused? There, this is a ramp. No, you haven't done many of these. There you go. You could also use it like that. Now how you're supposed to use it. They're like, wait, do we get to sleep in here? We do. We do get to sleep in here. What do you think? Kira's like, hmm, this is new. Gotta check this out some more. It's like, it's a ramp. And you can't go that way. I don't want you jumping off the end of the bed. Check out the ramp, okay. Memphis is like, oh man, this is the most comfortable I have been in like two weeks. Yeah? I sleep there all night. I didn't block off the end of the bed. She doesn't normally jump off here anyway because there's not much space between the bed and the dresser. So I think she'll be fine. If she steps off, she would step off here. But Memphis doesn't normally get up. Like in the middle of the night, she doesn't normally get up. So we're going to attempt this. We're going to see what happens. Maybe I'll get some sleep. Maybe I won't because I'll be making sure she's not jumping off the bed. Excuse me, ma'am. Nobody wants to look at you, but... <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and call it night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. We're not jumping off the bed, ma'am. They're all so confused. They're like, what's going on? Yes, we're going to bed in here. Good night, audience.